Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Ward from FireflyCoaching.com and today I'm here with Charlotte von Wout from Spot and Sea Academy and she's going to share her top tips for small business owners and how they can grow their businesses and get more clients. Welcome. Yay. Thanks, I'm excited. Great. So tell us, what's one of your biggest tips that we could use? Um, I think the, the one I, I love the most to, to tell um, is I'm using Instagram pretty, mm. pretty intense. Like I vlog about my life. Every day I post on Instagram a lot of stories about how I do business and what went wrong and what kind of mistakes I made or what kind of stuff I do during the day. And that's like, I think one of my biggest marketing um, uh, tips ever just to you know throw throw your life out there so people can see what you're doing and, and document your journey and that's like you're not even really talking about business I know you also do talk about business but you're saying just kind of like show who you are yeah well I, I do give a lot of tips so I give a lot of tips like oh this morning I had this client and I didn't know what to do so I decided to uh, I decided to do this, this, and this. And then I hope that other people, because most of my followers are also entrepreneurs. Mm. So I always hope that, you know, they, they get something out of it. So I do give tips, but it's also a lot of, you know, I'm walking now at the kennel or I'm in one of my, because I uh, rent out properties for meetings. I'm in one of my venues now and I'm, you know, preparing for a group to come. So people will really get to know me and my life. And I, I think, you know, there's two kinds of marketing you can do. And, the marketing I prefer is a documenting kind. Like um, I'm showing people what the life, uh, what my life looks like, and mm -hmm. I'm showing people what it would look like if they would be my client. And that's another kind of marketing. Then hey, you should come with me, and not really showing what it is to be. Right. Yeah. So you're inviting them along on your journey. I guess yeah. a lot of people watching are thinking, okay, that sounds great. Um, I'm willing to do that, but how do I get people to follow me in the first place? How do I get people interested? So maybe you could talk a little bit about how you've built your following. Yeah, so there are a lot of ways for that and I'm not, definitely not against it, like, but I don't use the typical ways. Like, okay, great. We don't like typical here. We like authentic. <laughs> it's really typical to use a lot of hashtags. Um, for me, it doesn't work because when I use a hashtag, I, I've been using them. I've been trying it out. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of people from, I don't know, United States or whatever, they, they come and follow me. But those are not my my clients because my clients need to be in the Netherlands to follow my programs or to, you know, rent my venues. So what I just did, I thought I give them a lot of value. So I give them a lot of tips and I, you know, speak a lot about all the mistakes I make and hopefully they enjoy the value so much. So they keep watching and they keep attend, um, you know, inviting friends like, Hey, you should watch Charlotte. And that works actually really well. Like in one year I built a following of 7,000 people almost. Wow. And they all came <laughs> through, you know, friends. Like everyone came through friends. Or word, like word of mouth. Okay, that's fantastic because that's what m many um, small business owners find is one of their top marketing strategies is simply word of mouth. So people telling other people. And in this case, yeah. you're saying they're like, oh, you should check out her channel and follow her on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Okay, super. So another question I already know people in my community will be asking is, do I have to be in front of the camera? Is it possible to use Instagram and to show people what you're up to without always having your face in front? I mean, it's possible, but <laughs> no, I, I would say, please put your face on the <laughs> internet. It's so, like, people want to know, especially for small business owners, mm -hmm. who, is the, who is the person behind the business? Who am I buying from? So I know it's scary as fuck. Like, I, for the first time that I did it, I, I think I tried it over, like, 17 or 18 times before I was able to, you know, talk in the camera and be a bit relaxed about it. But it's so worth it. If you finally learn to communicate on camera, it's so worth it. So um, just start with pictures and then gradually go to videos. I would totally... Uh, okay. And are you, are you leveraging your videos? Are you using them in other places, like using them, downloading them, or no? I should, I totally don't, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's on Instagram and it goes away, yeah. It's only, it's only there for 24 hours. And are you but using I, highlights to save some of them, or that's not the point at all, really? Sometimes I do, yeah. But not, I don't know, not often enough, I think. But um, I do give courses on Instagram also. I, I teach courses in entrepreneurship and all that. And those videos I, um, I save. So I, I do have a lot of tips uh, on videos still saved, but not my daily 
daily stories. Okay. And you just mentioned something quite interesting to deliver a course on Instagram. That's something I think new to the market. Yeah. I was the first one actually. I saw oh. even the world. Like I oh. started searching for it worldwide and okay. I, I, it, didn't, uh, it didn't exist. So um, I think two months ago, I, I thought about, you know, I want to give some online courses for entrepreneurs because I'm a writer too and I write for the newspaper and I write right. these advice columns and I wanted to teach entrepreneurs uh, stuff and skills and it didn't really work for me, like, you know, make an official video course. Right. I just didn't take the time to make the videos and it seems like a hassle. And then I thought, why, why don't I just do it on Instagram? So I opened up like a separate account and I put the account on private and only people who pay to get um, uh, access to the ex- account can have access. So I okay. built like a website for it and people pay around 50 euros now for a course. And then I let them in and then they can uh, see all the stories and photos I post there. Wow. Okay. So is this something do you think would work for other people or is it unique to you because of your following and the way you are, have I built think your... it works for everyone. I, I do think you have to have like a little bit of skill in, you know, making the stories and the videos. So it's, mm-hmm. You know, it might be a bit harsh if it would be your first time on Instagram, but no, I think it works for a lot of, a lot of uh, coaches, especially, and everyone who, who loves to teach something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can totally ask money for it. Yeah, super, duper. And are you using any other marketing tips for, are you networking besides being on Instagram? Do you go out to events? Do you... No. No, I'm not a big face-to-face networker. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty introvert. And, uh, you know, when I'm standing in a big, big hall with a lot of people, I get really shy and I <laughs> not my thing. Um, I, use, I use actually a lot of media. So mm. I, um, uh, I, I used to be a journalist, so I know pretty well how the media works. So I appear in a lot of newspapers, even on television. I'm often on the radio, um, you know, a lot of interviews, blogs, but also magazines and, you know, all the old media. Yeah. And that's actually a really good way for me to have, um, you know, a lot of attention and a lot of visitors to my website. I think that's really exciting news because you would expect if you, I follow you and I watch your Instagram stories, you know, you're so bubbly and energetic and you would think, oh, she must be at every networking event there is. No, you say I'm an introvert, which is showing that you can just be alone in your house or wherever making your videos. And that's okay too. You don't have to go out and. Totally. It's a big I, I, don't, I, I think it's a myth that, you know, you have to be out there in the real world and that's the only way to make money and people need to see you. Like you can build this amazing presence online, just, you know, sitting in your pajamas. On your <laughs> okay. Think- so yeah. One last question about, um, cause you know, platforms are always changing, right? Instagram didn't exist some years ago. There'll be a new channel in some time. What is like the core thing about what it is you do? So sharing your stories that you think connects with people, what is it that, is it just like connecting with people on a human level or what is it about what you're doing, no matter what the platform is that works for you? Uh, it's the authenticity. I'm mm. pretty open. Like I, um, Obviously, I have a few things I don't tell, but I tell way more than most people. You know, okay. I share about my profits. I share about my mistakes. I share so much, always in the hope that other people learn from it. And uh, I try to empower them. Mm. And because I kind of knock away all these walls that people build sometimes around businesses or being really, you know, you, you, there's so much that, that a lot of entrepreneurs tell the world out there. And people feel it might not be true. You know, yes. I'm this big and I make so much money and you should come follow my course and then you kind of feel maybe it doesn't feel right Mm -hmm. and I I believe that if you're really open and authentic and really tell the truth people feel that and people connect with that and people are also you know they recognize it and they recognize my my struggles and they recognize also my victories and I think um, you know finding um, all these comparison like oh how do you say it like I, I think that's the thing that they connect with me and that's what they love about it I really appreciate you saying that because it, I don't know how much you've seen, but there's a lot going on in the online world where people are just basically just a bunch of hot air and they're not delivering anything. And you're actually really delivering value from an authentic place. Like you said, you want people to learn from what you've learned, but also learn from your mistakes. And that's really helpful. So if that's yeah. your intention, your clear intention is to help people by sharing the real you and the truth about it and not some fake fluff stuff, 
that is what matters. So it's not necessarily the platform, although Instagram works for you, but if you went to another platform, you'd be doing the same thing. You'd still be being you and sharing you. Yeah. I even use, like, I use LinkedIn also, and I do it at the sa- exactly the same way. I, I love LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn is great. Like, I posted a video a few days ago, and almost got 100,000 likes by now. Wow. Oh, no views. Wait, no likes, views. Okay, that's even better. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And it's, you know, and I've, I've just been the same. I've been sharing authentically what I like and what I, you know, what I offer and why I'm excited about it. And people can see that. They can, they can kind of sense the energy and the enthusiasm and the openness. So, yeah. I love that. I'm so glad you said that because I'm also a huge fan of LinkedIn. They've changed a lot. It's gotten a lot better. And I love that because you're, you know, from the younger generation, you're using Instagram and you, you like Twitter as well. So mm-hmm. proof yeah. in the pudding, people. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? Um, um, well, I think, you know, sometimes people are afraid to, to start trying on Instagram. You can always, and I always say that you can always just make an account that's, you know, hidden from everyone. And okay. you just practice for two weeks or three weeks just on your own. And then when you're, you build a little bit of confidence, go, go, you know, go into the real world then and try it out. Um, just don't think that you're too old or that it's not your platform anymore because it can be everyone's platform. It's not about, you know youth or girls that's showing off their beautiful clothes it's <laughs> good and amazing platform i think that's such a great tip so make a private account practice no one ever has to see it and then when you're ready go out there thank you so much for these amazing tips charlotta yeah. um we want to hear what you guys have to say so are you using instagram how do you use it um do you have additional thoughts leave your comments below in the comment section and if you like this tip be sure to get a copy of my free special report seven steps to attract more clients in less time at my website thanks again charlotte and we'll see you on instagram yay okay <laughs>